Happy holidays, folks, and welcome back. Hello, hello and everybody, and I'm Lynn, and that's the old man. Anyway, sorry for laughing. We, I've just been <laughs> filming and had the camera turned the opposite direction. I'm just not with it today. It's your age, isn't it? Yeah. So, what are we doing today? So? 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 <laughs> Well, it's great to be alive, folks. It's a bit chilly around the oh, old willy, but... It's so cold. Yeah. Uh, well, I've got to go and see... Well, I've got a bit of business going on somewhere, so we're going to take you with us. Not, because... for the, not to do the business. No, no. <laughs> Weirdo. We're going to take you with us because it's an absolutely beautiful area which is where I've got to go. It is. So I just thought well, we would share it with you. Yes. Happy with that, folks? Happy. I was so warm and cosy, didn't want to go out. It's like, come on. I've, I've been there loads of times. I know how pretty it is, but yeah. Well, it's an absolutely glorious day now. The is. sun is out. It's minus 20. It's not minus 20. It's about zero or minus one. Um, yeah, but the blue skies, the lake's still frozen. The ducks and the swans and the bloody geese are still there. And the best news out is... It's getting closer to the weekend, folks. Oh, we can is. all get on the road. That's if you want to. And have a blast. If you're brave to, fr to go out in this freezing weather. Ah, it's grieving. You know, as long as it's not raining, I've always said this, as long as it's not raining, you can have a fantastic time anyway. Yeah, but have you seen the forecast for the weekend? What? Rain. It's not. It is. Saturday, Sunday. No, it's not. Well, you must be looking at Welsh TV or something. Because I've had a look and it's going to be dry. Unbelievable. Anyway, enough of our arguments. I'm, I bet everybody's sick of them now. <laughs> yeah, but as I, as I was saying, you've only got to wrap up, haven't you? You just dress for the... Uh... Appropriately, like I am. Yeah. Scarf, hat, gloves, coat. Yeah. And once you're out and about and you're walking about, you're warm anyway, so yeah. That's, that's, the, that's what's great about winter camping. Brilliant. Love it. Brilliant. Sarcastic little kid. Have you noticed everyone there always goes, Brilliant! <laughs> when I'm editing, I'm always laughing as he's like, You've done it again. Brilliant! Brilliant! <laughs> oh dear. Unbelievable. Check this place out, people. We are in Cleebury, Clee Hills, just outside Cleebury Mortimer. Shropshire? Shropshire. I think it goes right? under Shropshire. Yeah, it's about 15. No, about 20, 20 minute drive away from our static. You okay? Yeah, the sun's in my eyes. Oh, okay. You've got your peak cap on, so. Yeah. Check this out. What a beautiful view. And cheap. And cheap. You do have to be careful when you're, when you're driving along here because there's no fences. So the sheep are wandering about on the roads. Yeah, it always reminds me of the uh, the Horseshoe Pass in Wales. Gosh, that's a blast from the past. Yeah, but it does, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah, wow, what a beautiful place. We just thought we'd pull over and show you. Absolutely great. It's so chilly. It really is. <sighs> Come here, I'll warm you up. It's my legs that are cold. All, you ain't got no legs? All six inches of them. <laughs> Before we go any further uh, this vlog people, we'd like to say a couple of happy birthdays. Yeah, we've got one to Hazel Wilson, from Hazel Wilson, happy birthday to her husband Adrian Wilson for the 19th of January. Happy birthday Adrian. Yeah, hope you have a wonderful birthday tomorrow and we want to wish Chris from the Travelling Wibblies. The Travelling Dipsticks. The Travelling Wibblies, Chris, happy birthday for the 18th and your 40th. So yeah. I hope you have an amazing day and we will see you soon. Yeah, happy birthday Chris. Happy birthday to both of you. We hope you have a cracking day. Hello. <laughs> Do your laces up. Look at the, oh, look at the stage, your little boots. And you've got mud on your little jeans up. Yeah, I just got my foot. I got out of the car just. I got my foot trapped between the, the, the bottom gutter. of the car and the gutter, yeah. Unbelievable. So this is the quaint little town of Cleve Mortimer. Is it? 
What are you doing? Why? Why? What? Why did I make Lacey so bloody long? I've had to wrap them around my ankles five times. <laughs> Look, my Converse ones, my grey ones, my favourite ones, but they're impossible to get on and off. Totally random on it. I had to cut the laces off and burn them the other day to shorten them. I'm going to have to do these with the same. Right, carry on about your tree. Bloody hell, it's going to be one of them days again. Yeah, look at that. Have they trained it to, get to meet each other? I've actually trained the branches. How good's that? What's the matter? I'm just looking how they've done it with bits of rope. Yeah, I bet that's beautiful when it's in flower in the yes, summer. Yes, because I think, is it a cherry tree? Are they cherry trees? I don't know what it is. I think they are. I think it's a grape tree. Oh, a grape gosh, I'd have bought my sunglasses. I can't believe how bright it is. You've got a couple of Indian restaurants here. You have got the Spice Empire, the Lamp, Bangladeshi and Indian Cuisine. We don't need none of that because I've got a good cook here. Oh, that's different from what he usually says. I was just looking to see if there are many campsites around here. You've got Hopley's, but that's Bugley, right? Wait, wait, but that's coming up. Yeah, that's on. miles away. Well, that's what's coming up. Yeah. I don't think there's anywhere close. Asprey Falls Camping, and you've got the Unicorn Inn, which I presume is a pub. Oh, let's oh, find the that. Unicorn. Is that? No, isn't the Unicorn where you... That that's you Hampton Load. Oh, that's one. miles away. One. That's totally the different different direction. Well, it's still called the unicorn. Believable. What's the matter? The London house. Yeah, I was wondering what it is because it's all steamed up. A phone box. You don't see many of those around here nowadays. <laughs> you don't, do you? No. No, I'm fascinated by the trees, though, folks. That must look really good in the summer. The Talbot Hotel. That's a nice old building. Thankfully it's shut so I haven't got to spend any money. Well, that doesn't stop you, does it? Does it stop me not spending money? Yeah, it doesn't matter if it's open or closed. Robert just said I'm dim because I didn't know this and I've just seen it on this notice board in Fairy Mortimer and it's a picture of a dash cam and it says captured a driving offence can you send your photos or footage of what you've the captured offender. yeah someone using a device behind the wheel so if you've caught somebody using a phone driving without due care and attention and disobeying traffic laws and they're asking you to shot people unbelievable mm. well that's uh They've been doing that for ages. Have they? I didn't. I never knew that. It's the same as uh, drink drivers. You know, if you see anybody drinking and stepping into a car, they are obviously found the police. Well, they should be doing their own job and not expecting the general public to be doing it for them. <laughs> I wouldn't grass on anybody. Well, depends, I suppose. If they were... Yeah, it's mm. circumstances in it, I suppose. Yeah. You would, you would, if you got dash cam footage of somebody running, to, running into your car, would you? Gone. That, that's a, that's good. If you've got a dash cam in your car, bear with me. <laughs> when we get back in the car. <laughs> yeah, this is this is a lovely little town. This is, it really is. Isn't it, my little angel? It is, but I am really excited about uh, my, my dash cam. It's not just a dash cam. I was sure about your bloody dash I cam. I know, but I was so excited. I yeah, because... Because uh, it's, gotta... it's an old car. Yes, it's an old car. I've so match no... me old bird. <laughs> I've got no sat nav, no dash cam, no Apple Play. I only just got a radio. <laughs> just about. Yeah, so she's been sent to sent a, da uh, a dash wow. Apple Play thing. So, yeah. Oh, wow. yeah, wow, look at that. How beautiful. Church of St. Mary the Virgin. You don't see many of those around here either. <laughs> <laughs> oh, unbelievable. 
loads of quicken for a thicken. <laughs> mm. Mm. I've come to have a look in the church. Take your hat off. I can't wait, it's a mess. <laughs> Wow, I love looking at these old buildings. Just have a quick look around. Fascinate me, these churches. Yeah. And that's all. That, that's old, isn't it? Beautiful windows. Wow, beautiful place. Absolutely bang on. Okay. Yeah. What's wrong? Nothing. I was trying to find out how old it is, but the earliest burials in here were like 1766. Yeah. But they uh, redid the spire after I think it was a fire in 18 something. Oh, yeah. So Loads of history there. Oh, it's beautiful. The it structure. Is absolutely fascinating. <sighs> yes, I enjoy that. Did you enjoy that? I did. Yeah, so when did you say the spire was... Uh... The restoration was completed in 1898. Yeah, but if you, if you, when you're driving and when you're approaching this, it looks all it leaning. It, even from it, they say, I don't know if that camera's going to pick it up, but it is bent. There's a window, it isn't, a half way up. There's yeah, something. there's a window half way up. Wow, what a beautiful building. Absolutely stunning. Uh oh, where are you going? Brilliant. <laughs> Absolutely. Brilliant. Brilliant. Yeah, we just walked around the back of the uh, church and I've made like steps out of headstones. All headstones. Wait, well, I've never seen that before. I'm definitely not going to walk on them. Why? What? Why won't you walk on it? Would you walk on them? I wouldn't walk on them because I'm a bit superstitious. Right, well where you're walking now is probably where the bodies were buried and then they took the, took the headstones off and put them and made a path. Get off the ground! No, there's nothing there, look. Those headstones, the, the bodies weren't buried in that path. I mean, that one just laid there. I know that. They've got the headstones from yeah. somewhere, yes? Oh, in these grounds? Maybe, I don't know. Of course it is not. Maybe. Get your foot off him. He's going to say nothing, is he? Can't read it. No, I, don't old think old I don't think it's even in English. This one is. It's probably Latin. Latin? Would it be in Latin? Could be. Well, this is in remembrance of... Can't read the rest. Anyway. Yes. That's, a, that's enough at looking at uh, headstones. <laughs> is it just us? Or do many of you like, like walking around graveyards and... It's something we, we, we often do, isn't it? Well, no, we don't do it often. We don't do it often, time. but if we get the chance, because it's very interesting, isn't it? Yes. I, we find, anyway. Maybe we're a bit strange. Well, I, you, I mean, you are, not me. Another one of those lovely benches, but they've corned as well, haven't you? No, there's a gate here. Yeah. Do you honour our fallen? 
Yeah. You can go in, I think. No, you can, but... Yeah. Lest we forget, we never will. Is that right, my local fruitcake? It is. You've got it right. For a change, he's got something right. You're not looking very pretty with your little bobble hat on because you haven't bothered washing your hair. Well, there's no point really because I was going to put this hat on anyway because it's so cold. See, folks, I always make an effort. Actually. Actually, oh, what? It looks greasy. It's a bloody grease. I've had a shower, you cheeky git. Did you forget to wash your hair? No. You obviously forgot to wash yours. I'm not going to wash my hair and then come out in the freezing cold. That's how you catch a cold. Yeah, right. That's my excuse anyway. Anyway, folks, that's uh, Cleebury Mortimer. Definitely worth a visit. 100%. Lovely, lovely village. Yes. There's a... Uh... Parish. Parish. Yeah. I love the trees. I want to come back in the summer and see what these trees look like when they're in bloom. When they're in blossom. Bloom. Blossom. I'm sure that'd be awesome. Come on then. What? Well, you parked right outside a cafe. It would be mean not to walk in and support a local business. I've got no money on me. You've got your watch. Didn't you have a cup of coffee before you come out? No, you drank all the milk. You've only been out an hour. You've drank all the milk. Come on, I'll make you one when we get back. Tight git. Look at the lovely bread, isn't it? Yeah, it looks a cracking shop to be fair. Nice cup of hot chocolate. Yeah. She's got her own way again, people. Hang on. Who paid? I've treated you again. Happy with that, folks? Happy. That looks nice. You're not filming me eating it. <laughs> Unbelievable. Very spoiled. You are, aren't you? I've got sugar everywhere. He knows. He knows. How much was it? Twelve pound ten p. Okay, two cakes, two hot chocolates. Oh, well, I was going to say you're worth it, but. Oi! Did you enjoy that? More to the point, did you? I did actually. Well, like, yeah, because I bought it. You wouldn't have gone in if you had to pay. It wasn't as nice as the hot chocolate I do, though, is it? It was very weak. Definitely wasn't worth 12 quid, but there you go. Well, come on then, what are you going to do? So! Man, I've got no room in this car! Well, no, I was going to say, don't come too close, I'll scare the viewers. <laughs> <laughs> Ready to? Um, Joybring sent me this. Well, they asked me if we, I've asked us if we wanted to review it, and I had a look, and I said, actually, it would be perfect for my car. Any cars that... Because it's old and knackered. It's not like that good, it's just old. Um, that hasn't got a sat nav or a dash cam in. And there's a lot of motorhomes that don't have them in. And people ask us, what which sat nav do you, you know, prefer? But I think this is going to be awesome. I'm going to set it up now and show you because it's got a dash cam as well as sat nav. You've got Apple CarPlay. You can transfer it onto Android as well. So, yeah, I'm going to set it up now. And have a look how it works. Well, I have had a look before. I plugged it into a power bank and had a play, didn't I? But I'm so excited to get it in the car. <laughs> you do look cute with your bobble hat on. I don't feel it. I look silly. Go on then, crack it on. Crack it on. Crack out. Yeah, go on then. I'm trying. Crack on. Right. So, in the box, you've got that, which is a really good size screen. Folds down. There is your. Camera. Dash cam camera, which I am going to take the plastic cover off because it's going to be set up in here. You can. Oh, yep, I've got work tomorrow. Shut up, Robert. So I'm going to put it on there like so, but it's got a sticky pad. Also, in the box, you've got all the instructions. Uh, Miles of cable. Yeah, that's the lead. That plugs into the back of the unit and then that goes into my cigarette lighter. Good thing is as well, there's a USB so I can plug my phone in and charge my phone at the same time. Happy with that. Um, you've also got a hard wiring kit for a reversing camera. But because of the car that I drive, I'm not sure if we'll be able to use it. No, but because uh, there's the front. 
And there's the back. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I really need a reversing camera on my little car, but I'm sure it will come on coming very useful to other people. Uh, you've got lots of bits and bobs in there, and you've also, if you don't want to stick it to your dash, you've got a uh, what you may call it. Yeah, yeah. But what I found out with that, with those in it's the past, it's going to be very close to me as well. It's not that they just keep falling off. Yeah, well, I'm going to try this one first. Is it going to stick? Because it's yes, uh, right. I promise you, it will stick. Right. Okay. I'll get on with that. There you go, folks. So I've stuck that on there with the self adhesive uh, pad. Yeah. And then on the bottom of there, you've got four holes so it goes in, slides across to lock. Slots on there. One thing I've just noticed as well, because I've just plugged it in, it's actually got uh, an SD card in. Can't get it out, I won't bother now. Uh, but that's good, save you buying one. So that just slots. Right, not so. Right. I've connected it to the car via put it, plugging it into the cigarette lighter, turned it on. Um, the first thing you've got is three screens, so your DVR is your front camera and look how good and clear that is. That is very clear. So then if you press the home button, it, you can go on to, because um, I've got an Apple phone, if you've got Android you set it up via that. Apple you go on to there. So you've got your phone, your music, your maps, your messages, everything will come up to... Uh, so basically you've got your phone in front of you. You've got Apple CarPlay, I'm sure everybody yeah. knows what Apple CarPlay is. I've got audio, Audible, uh, so go across, Google Maps, different apps that you've got on your phone, WhatsApp. Apps Which really what we wanted for is yeah. the maps. Uh, you've got your screen splitter, so you've got your maps, which is where we are now, and then you've got your music, whatever, on there. Um, I'm, I'm absolutely amazed. So yeah, so go on to CarPlay. So uh, now I need to go on to Maps. Go on to Apple CarPlay, Maps. So search. Uh, close, got restaurant. Yeah, yeah. Closest, closest petrol station. But as you, it, it works like any sat nav. So if we go on to search on keypads, just put in uh, Kidderminster, there we go. Go. Perfect for everything that we, that you need. And then if you want to just have a look, so you've got your maps going there. Start, not that we're going to Kidderminster, I'll cancel it in a minute. Head east on High Street. You've got a good speaker on it. And then you can switch it over to your DVR and you can uh, home. CarPlay, go back onto Maps, and then oh, you can split the screen. But I'm not sure. I, I haven't played with it enough yet. Is it that? No, that's just to have a look at where you're going. But I'm, I am so impressed. And so you've got your dash cam, you've got your Apple CarPlay, your Maps, everything on it. Is um, there a parking mode? What do you mean? Will it record when the you're not in the vehicle? Uh, well, it's recording now, but... But we got, if I turn this car off now, yeah, we've no, got no power. It'll go off. So you've got to hardwire it into the car, really. You can hardwire it, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'll turn it back on. I think I've just turned it off, because there is a... Oh, uh, and it's just dropped off. Yeah, I've just knocked it off. That, and and that, that is not very good. No, it, we've, we've just been talking about this while I was fiddling about with it. it it's, as you've... As you've seen, I've knocked it off. Right, so yeah, I've put it back on. I'm really, really impressed with it. I'm not impressed with the stand. Like no, I said, we've just messed with it and it came off. Yeah, because that just clips onto there because the pad is stuck to there. But what we need to do, we're going to figure out a way, maybe glue it to the actual pad so it can't move. Yeah, or I might try the, the windscreen one, but I absolutely love it for what it's going to do. Uh, there you go, split screen. So you've got your maps there. So, yeah. Really, really happy with it. Yeah, it's got Siri on it, it's got everything on it. So, yeah, and I will put the links in the description below. The price, if you click onto the link, I think it's around 150 160 pounds. So, it, you've only got to have one thing you know, you haven't got to have the dash cam and your sat nav, it's all in one. So, yeah, yeah happy with that. So, thanks, Joy Bring. Yeah, uh, yeah, as I say, for uh, if you've got an old car, you've got no sat nav or nothing. 
it's ideal, isn't it? It is. If it's cheap enough, is it? 150, about 160 pound. I've yeah. just looked. But anyway, well, you know, we get on with it. Yeah, I think it's just the pad. I'm yeah. not happy with that. No. So, we uh, hope you've enjoyed our little walk around. Clearbury Mortimer. We certainly have. We always like to get out and about, don't we? We do. Back in the bus the weekend, folks. You can't whack it. Okay. What? What? Come on, because I've got to get back and cook. Makes a change, isn't it? So on that note, folks, we all say our farewells. So stay safe for the caravan as motor and tenters drift from skies are new. It's all of you. We do. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you on the next one. In a bit. Mm -hmm.